Well, right now we want to check in with meteorologist Efren Afonte and get the latest on Hurricane Florence. Well, radar is already picking it up. It is already starting to intensify with the rainfall, and it is still to the east of North Carolina. The latest information from the Hurricane Center, winds at 110, gusting to 130, but it has started to slow down its forward motion. Now northwest at moving at 12 miles an hour, it is now 170 miles east-southeast off the coast of Wilmington, North Carolina, and we'll have a new track that'll be updated from the National Hurricane Center by 11 o'clock. We still do have tropical storm watches in effect for Lee, Sumter and Clarendon County until further notice. Tropical storm warnings in effect still for the PD, hurricane warnings for the Grand Strand and a hurricane watch for parts of the low country. Now at the timing of what we expect the winds of tropical storm wind, tropical force winds to start moving through by early Friday morning, it'll start pushing through into the Grand Strand, starting to extend into portions of the eastern Midlands by Friday afternoon. And we can start feeling those tropical storm winds potentially late Friday night into Saturday morning in parts of the central Midlands. But the good news is that by the time we get to Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening, the tropical storm force winds will start to die down. And an update on the rain forecast, still expecting at least a foot or more of rainfall in the PD into the Grand Stream. But now along and north of I-26, 7 to 10 inches of rain along and west of I-26, 5 to 7, and then down in the low country, 3 to 5. But that's in a span of seven days, but they're not expecting rain today. Right now, we've got partly cloudy skies, 76 degrees, and it's going to be a hot day, but no rain. Look at a high of 95 degrees, heat index of 102, but the rain and the winds come in on Friday, a high of 92. Tropical storm force winds and rain Saturday and Sunday with highs in the 80s.